Katie, do you count everyone? Um, it looks like we've got everyone. What's up? How's everyone doing? Nice shirt, Chapin. Look great. A little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of catching up. We'll do the around the horn with everyone. Uh, some little housekeeping stuff. Uh, my shirt is great. Yeah. It's kind of silly how little the goalie, the presence of the goalie does more than the goal. The presence of the goalie does more than the goal. You got one a quick Dr. Brown's That's original that. cream soda review. I'm not a soda drinker, but I wanted something with a little more flavor, and they have a Statue of Liberty, Dr. Brown. What's up with so do uh, sodas needing to come from doctors? Dr. Pepper. Who's Dr. Brown? Whoever makes this soda, he's been making it since 1869. Was it because they would like the local pharmacy would also make the sodas? Why are all the sodas docked anyway? It's a cream soda, which I don't really know what that is, but it's uh, good. End review. <laughs> uh, audio trick or joke for the people listening? It was just uh, a robot saying hodgepodge. <laughs> is that LL? Ladies love Cool James. You could be called S L L Cool J. No, no, no. Some no, ladies no, no, love no, no, Cool J. No, no, no. My first login at my first job, C E D. Login. My first login on my computer. My login name was L L Cool J. Like at the office. Who gave it to you? I did. But like, boy, you can't do that. Why do you do that? Should have been like Jake Story. Like, how, how old were you? Twenty-one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> dumb, dumb guy. Jesus. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Imagine if we hired a twenty-one-year-old and he made his like. We we're like, what do you want your Gmail? Love it. It's <laughs> it like the final test. <laughs> he failed. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Talking Yanks. It's June 22nd as we record this, June 23rd, as you listen to it, unless you are a Patreon member. Jake is sitting next to me. I am sitting next to him. BBD is in the studio and still not a good look on the baseball front, Jake. We got big news yesterday. Players rejected the 60 games and all the frills and the MLB actually was pretty nice and said, okay, we'll still do 60 games, no frills. So, I don't know. In a way, I think the – I got to really figure out my thought. I was so high when this got announced last night. I saw my Twitter and my phone blow up, and Katie and I were both exhausted, so we gummied up and we are just watching This Is The End on Netflix or whatever it was on. And uh, I was really worried that Jake or Trevor were going to be like, we need to get on the pod right now because I was like, oh, I can't. Um, but I haven't really figured out. I think the players, I think I'm very happy with the two positions. I think I'm happy with what happened from both sides, which is fucking bizarre. Because I'm, it still sucks from both sides. I got a lot of figuring out to do. Hey, just talked to Jimmy. I hate that guy. Um, no, baseball's back, kind of. They're still figuring out the final details. It's good. It's good, 60 games, it's okay. The only part that sucks, because it was exciting that it came back, I was running hot, I was retweeting some of my classics last night, Jeff Pass and Danson, uh, DJ LeMahieu home run. I found a video the night before when the Yankees won in the ALCS where I was just drinking a beer and being real weird, <laughs> so that was fun. I was feeling all those emotions. The only part that sucks is like they basically agreed to the agreement in March, and they've just dragged the sport through the mud through three months. So, but it's all right. We need a couple more details. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna play baseball, and then we'll be back in nasty CBA talks in a couple couple months. Soda review number two. We're going with Refresco's Country Club Naranja. Naran Naranja. Orange soda from the Dominican. Looks like the old Spitfire logo 
Every every 11 year old in 2001 thought Spitfire was the coolest. Oh yeah, that tastes just like every other orange soda. Pretty good. We're behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've been caught. <laughs> Jake is watching Donald Duck. So I saw it. Molinaro. He had a tweet. We all had an uncle who could do an incredible Donald Duck impression. And I always thought I could do a Donald Duck impression, but I kind of forgot what he sounds like. Just walked in and Jake's watching Donald Duck clips. Wow, If that's it, I did it. I'm Donald Duck. I'm Why does Donald Duck wear a towel? But not pants. Oh, it's an old Donald Duck! Ah. Hey guys! Ah. Is that Mickey? Hey guys! It's Mickey! Hey guys! He's like more high pitched. Hey guys! I should be able to do Donald Duck. Coming to you soon. Not literally. <laughs> Jake doing Donald. I gotta go make fun of some fucking people who love a sport. It's gonna ruin their. Finally! Finally, underwater hockey gets some love. Shit, he's making fun of us. That was damn time. Turkey beats Great Britain, which uh, I don't know if that was an upset or not. It just looks like humans in a fish tank. How weird is that? I haven't prepped really anything besides one joke. That, uh, I don't know. It feels weird because, you know, this sport sucks. But I don't want to share on people's favorite sport. Well, like no part of me thinks, oh yeah, that's enjoyable to watch or that's enjoyable to play. But I can't swim, so, you know. I think it's a pretty niche audience. Like, I think the only reason you play it is if you're already a swimmer, but you're not good at water polo or swimming, so you divert to something different. I think the only reason you watch it is if you have a loved one that plays. Huge upset. Turkey is about to absolutely destroy Great Britain in underwater hockey. That's right, this is underwater hockey. It's basically a bunch of water polo players got high and said, what if we did this under the water? Three nothing, this guy's gonna say, yes, it was a goal, and the crowd's gonna say, oh, okay, cool, we will cheer now, we couldn't see. We couldn't see because it was underwater, but if you tell us that they scored, that's awesome. We didn't know, because they're underwater. We just couldn't see anything but the top of the water. That's it. <laughs> Did I go too hard on underwater hockey? Which couldn't see anything but the top of the water. <laughs> uh, I bet people are going to comment and be like, they put it on the Jumbotron, they can see the underwater footage. I bet I'll get that comment. It's funnier to think that they just are watching the top of the water. <laughs> Can't see anything. You got, uh, you got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Engaged in a, at a puppy, growing up. Hey, sir, I'm here. We're, we're labor lawyers now, so we figured we'd chime in. Yes. Exactly. Uh, where they went south, and we thank you, John. Boy, uh, yeah. That's exactly where they went south, and as I said to me, that's why they're doing this. You guys are on TV. <laughs> well, your voice. <laughs> Baseball is back. Jake's excited. Baseball's back. Can you break the news in your brand new Daffy Duck? Voice. Oh, balls, balls, back! Perfect. It's kind of there, right? Yeah, I, I don't really... It's in the realm. I haven't listened to a lot of Daffy Duck. If you had to get a so guess. Like, I'd have to now do you and like go listen to I it. think most people would guess Daffy Duck if I did that impression. Wow, baseball's back! You're there. I think we all got it now. DVD, you got a Daffy Duck? Uh, no. Show us <laughs> your Daffy Duck. That's a different question. Oh, camera phone. <laughs> Check out, it's just a yellow floppy duck. Hello. Look, hey, baseball's yellow. back. Baseball's ah. back. Parentheses, unless COVID, parentheses Corona. within the parentheses, shut up and let people be excited, end parentheses, end parentheses. Shut up, have fun, be I'm careful. I'm just glad they resolved every Dick. single issue. Um, they have no more problems moving forward. Yeah. I uh, tweeted out. It all. I tweeted out with an open parenthesis yesterday, and I forgot to close it. Ooh. <clears throat> Continuous thought. I thought about <clears throat> replying to the own tweet with like just a closed parenthesis. Mm, open your mouth. It. I mean, we weren't supposed to raise. Just gotta open your mouth. My bad. My bad. Ah, 
That wasn't it. That was like a southern dub. Bam! Baseball! Baseball's back! Baseball's back! Let's play some baseball! And then it happened. First tweet Peter Gammons at P Gammo. Good tag. Do I like the runner at 2B in extra innings? No. I want to see Kershaw, Cole, Verlander, Scherzer, Flaherty, DeGrom, Bumgarner, Gray, Soroka, Glass now pitch. Second tweet. And Trout, Harper, Betts, Bogarts, Chapman, Lindor, Baez, Yelich, Yastrzemski, Bichette, Springer, Stanton, Altuve, Soto, Wong, Marte, and Marte, Alonzo, Acuna, and so Hilarious many others Hilarious that he was like, Marte, fuck, and they Marte. won't know which one. And Marte, and Marte. you're not going to get me on this one. <laughs> rules are rules. The game is the players. Between now and Feb 1, I hope negotiators get that. Welcome to John Boy and Jake Radio, where we record the show in the studio. Hit the camera, Zach. Let me know when you got it. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think this other's gonna be good. It's not bad, but it tastes like something that would and should have alcohol in it. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Good job, Bruce. Okay. This one's gonna have some spin. Oh. Right down the line. Got you with the spins. Right down the line. Trick butt. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strike. Is that a swing? No. So if you wanted to butt, then you were nuts. <laughs> Could you go like that? But it's not a swing. Because if it hits the bat, it's good. These are going so fast. So fast. They flick off into your face so easily. Yeah. Zach down is a lot? The Sheffield style? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna have to learn. Change the game. Doing Dr. Brown's again. Black cherry. My mask is working. Dr. Browns, we've been trying. We've we've been trying them every day. Dude, cream soda. Cheers. Cheers. Have you ever had the black cherry? Yes, I have. Have you ever had the celery tonic? Celery tonic? Yes. No. Is that? Next one is root beer. Do they sell celery tonic here? Not here. You gotta go to Cass's Deli. Cass's Deli? Yep. All right. You celery tonic. A Fifteen dollar pastrami sandwich that's as big as your face. Oh yeah. I'm sure you've heard it. Yeah, yep. Yeah. With a K, everyone. It's my second Dr. Brown's. It's no celery, whatever the fuck that guy was talking about. Ooh, that's good. That's the best one yet. But I haven't tried celery tonic soda, so. That's what he said, right? Yeah. Celery tonic? I don't trust that guy. Yeah, so we're about to join some sort of live chat with Aaron Boone. Manager of the Yankees knows us, is friendly with us, probably friendly. not expecting us to show up to this thing with mics. <laughs> yeah, we're. I think we're going to be coy about we're the mics. And hide the mics. Decide. So we just we're trying to ask him some questions and then say, like, we have Boone on the podcast, what we get? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, and we'll just trick him to be like, hey, we're in the Bronx. Let us, if you need anything, let us know. If you need to come here after work. Just, like... Wife's mad at you. Come yeah. here before work if you're bored. Right? Okay. Um, so we're kind of blindsiding Aaron Boone, uh, and we'll see how that goes. We'll ask him if he likes the blindside. He probably likes that one. We want to get one laugh out of him and a half joking commitment. Imagine if it's the only thing we ask. Will you come on talking? 
Like, there's people that do do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see ah! you after this. Ah! I'm gonna go pee.